In this video, we're going to talk about Python variables. So any programming language that you take will always have a variable and variable is the place where you're going to actually set a value and you're going to get a value and you're going to manipulate some value and all the operation that you're going to do is within a variable of any programming language. So variable is a super important thing and without variable, you cannot actually do anything within the code that you're actually working with. So in our last video, we did the installation and we also saw how we can print a value using a very, very super simple method, something like print. That's it. So you can see that this is the beauty of this programming language itself. If you're coming from the background of Java, you'll be using the system.out.println or print. And similarly on the C sharp programming language, we have something like console.write line or console.write. And if you are coming from JavaScript, you will have something called console.log. So there is nothing like that in Python language. It's all just print. And variable is also super, super simple. Because if you're coming from a language, something like VB, you always have to declare something like dim. And similarly, if you're coming from uh, a JavaScript, maybe you will be using a type called var. And in C sharp, there are many different types that you need to specify apart from var is of course available there. But in Python, you don't really have to specify any type for any variable. All you're gonna do is, let's say if you're gonna specify something like name is equal to Karthik, which means it is actually an string type. And similarly, if you're gonna specify something like the salary is equal to thousand, then it is an integer type. And similarly, is married. And if you're gonna specify true, then it is a Boolean type. So you can see that the type is gonna be set within a variable in Python for you automatically, and you don't really have to specify any one of them. So let's try to print this particular value that you have specified in the variable. So if I want to print the name, I can just do something like an A, and you can see that Visual Studio Code is super intelligent enough that it is gonna bring you that intelligence for you. So I'm just gonna save this code. And if I try to run this, you can see that hello world Python Karthik. So there is uh, a space required, or maybe I can give some hyphens there. And now if I try to run this, you can see that hello world Python Karthik just comes in. This is the way that you can actually see that how easy it is while you work with that particular language, which is, so this is the way that you can see the output coming in for you very, very easily. You can actually run the same code with the command line that is specified over here within the item terminal or any terminal that you are currently using in. Something like this. You can see that uh, slash user slash local slash bin slash Python 3 is where my Python is being installed. And then slash user slash Karthik KK learn Python first dot pi is where my code that I'm running is actually sitting. So if I hit enter, you can see that the same output which we just saw over there is also coming in over here. So this is how you can see that you can execute the Python programming language much, much easily. So again, Python is an interpreted programming language. It is not like a compiled programming language, but it is so fast that it looks pretty much like a compiled programming language. All right, that's just an extra information, but you can see that this is what the variable is all about. And now if I want to uh, print the salary as well, then I can just do something like print of my salary is, and then I can specify thousand. Now let's see what's gonna happen basically. I'm just gonna save this and if I run this, you can see that it actually throws me an error. And let me show you in a bigger screen a bit. It tells you that the type error can only concatenate string, not an integer to the string. And that's the reason I did this. Instead of 1000 here, even if I put the salary that we just gave, which is going to be having exact same value, like 1000. Uh, so if I try to execute this, you can see that you get the same type error over here. So how to resolve this problem? It is very, very simple. Instead of concatenating, all you're going to do is put a comma there, which is basically going to tell that this is going to be performing and print operation for this particular string along with that particular integer value. So if I try to execute this, you can see that it tells me that my salary is thousand this time. So if I just execute the same thing over here, you can see that it prints me in like that. So this is what is the way that you can print in here with the types basically. 
So if you hover your mouse on any of the variables, you can see that Visual Studio Code will also tell you what type it is. So salary is an integer type, name is a string type like str, and is married is a boolean type or bool, something like that. So Visual Studio Code knows much better that you're actually writing it and that's exactly a programming language feature and it is coming from the Python programming language. So Python, as I told you, it will automatically set the type for you and you don't really have to specify the type explicitly. But you can specify the type explicitly by passing it within a constructor. Don't worry about it. You don't really have to do that. I mean, it's up to you if you want to really do it. But yeah, this is what it is. So you can also specify the type something like this. And this is also another way of actually explicitly specifying the type uh, in the Python programming language, something like that. And this way you can actually see that how easy it is to understand what type you're actually working with. I mean, these types you already know, but if you're working with web driver and similarly web element in Python, then probably you can specify colon web driver, which will tell you that this type that you are specifying is actually of a web driver and the colon web element is actually a web element type. And now if you want to print what type it is, I mean, instead of uh, looking at the Visual Studio Code's intelligence, something like that, there is a way something like this. You can specify the type like that. And uh, let's save this. And if you try to run this code, it will also tell you the type like my salary is of class integer. So it tells you that it is of a class integer. So basically you can see that it is of a type integer. So basically it tells you that. Similarly, you can specify the type of the name. Oops. And if I just specify the comma, and now if I execute this over here, you can see that this is of type string and this is of type integer. So this is how you can actually work with the variables. And again, variables will have their own scopes. For example, if you write a variable within a method, then the scope of that particular variable is within, only within that particular method unless until you return that particular variable's value from the method or a function to a variable and then you get that variable out from it. Again, don't worry about the functions yet because we have not even went to the methods or functions in Python. But as of now, this is what is variable and these are the automatic type assignment in Python. We'll talk more about Python in our next video while we discuss about conditions and looping statements. Thank you.